All right, guys, welcome to your second Git tutorial. Today, we're going to set up a remote. So very simply, we're just going to go to uh, Bitbucket because Bitbucket has amazing uh, free repositories. So we're currently on my uh, Twisted Equations account. It's my personal account. And I've actually made this repository already and tried to make these tutorials and failed horribly. So we're going to just remove my old one delete and essentially we're going to create a new repository we're going to call it git tutorials and we're going to track using git not mercurial language html css because you don't have to just specify a language it doesn't matter so now what we're going to do is we're going to link our local repository to our remote repository so essentially what we want to do is we want to commit our changes, lo our local changes, to a remote. And this allows you to do backup, essentially. So it allows you to backup your code very easily. And it's much, much better than using something like Dropbox, where the big issue with, uh, particularly with IDEs, is when, if you're using an IDE, let's say Android Studio or Eclipse, they tend to do a lot of uh, build files. So in your project, you'll notice under like a build folder, you've got your properties files pointing to different fo different libraries on your local drive. And it just, it's going to get messy. It's going to get horribly messy. With the remotes, you can actually get, can selectively do files using git ignore. We'll get to that later. But for now, we're just going to push up the files we have. So we have an existing project to push up. So what we need to do is we need to now link our git local repository with our remote. So you type in git add or git remote add. Don't forget git add will just add a try and add a remote file which won't work. So we're going to add our git remote and we're going to call it origin. The origin is always your primary remote. It's just known for that. The origin is your primary. And then we need the URL. The URL is this one here. So it's essentially pointing to that repository on Bitbucket. So we're just going to oh, we need to paste up here. Edit, paste. So now we've added a remote. Very nice. Let's do our push. Actually, we'll just say git. Go. Oh. So git remote and we've origin. So now we've got a remote origin. And in case you're wondering how I skipped up and down, I use the up and down arrow keys to go back through uh, messages to repeat them. If, you've, if you're watching this tutorial, you should be able to work a terminal. Anyway, uh, now we're going to do git push origin uh, dash da, uh, git push origin bugger. We need to push up our thing. Oh yeah, so it's asking us now for our password. Let's we'll quickly type that in. Ah, yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Git portion. We have to type in master. We're on the wrong, but we didn't specify a branch. We haven't got to branching yet, so this doesn't make much sense. But essentially, branchings are different variants of your code. So you can create like a branch, which you know, will make changes to that branch and the master doesn't get touched. Anyway, we're just going to push our master branch to our origin. And we're going to get a password, type it in. And we've pushed up our stuff from our master branch, from our local master branch to our remote master branch. And if we go to source now, our changes are there. Our files have been put on the remote. So that's essentially backing up files. That's now a backup of stuff. You can, you can commit anything you like, but it's really only for code files. Now you, can't, you don't use this for backing up your music, just don't. So we've uploaded those to a remote repository, which is very nice. So in the next video, we're going to talk about branching. And um, branching is amazing. But that's it for this video. And I'll see you next time.